Yeah, yeah, yeah. We headed out to Seattle. Eli Mac ready for battle. Yeah, juking and breaking them tackles. I got the team on my back like I'm wearing a saddle. I got kicked out the NFL full time, so I gotta prove that I'm great. Russell Wilson left, he fake. I got a lot on my plate, I'ma eat it like steak. We headed out to Seattle. Eli Mac ready for battle. Yeah, juking and breaking them tackles. I got the team on my back like I'm wearing a saddle. I got kicked out the NFL full time, so I gotta prove that I'm great. Russell Wilson left, he fake. I got a lot on my plate, I'ma eat it like steak. What is good, Mac family? It's the one and only Eli Mac. Today, we are back with another Madden 23 Face of the Franchise video, bro. We are lit. Now, listen, bro, today's video, we are literally, bro, one game away, man. One game away from a sewer, bro. Bro, listen, if you didn't see the last episode, bro, stop this video. Go out and watch the free last one, bro. It was literally insane, bro. We were down by five points with 13 seconds left and zero timeouts, and we marched all the way down the field and scored a touchdown to win the game last second, bro. Literally absolutely insane, bro. One of the most probably, no, it is the clutchest game of my career so far, bro. Freaking Eli, man. That was an insane game, bro, against the Atlanta Falcons, bro. This is, like, insane, bro. It's literally it's a conference championship, bro. There's only one team in the same is a freaking Green Bay Packers. That's what we're playing them against. As you guys see, they got a 98 overall quarterback. Let's go ahead and take a look at their team real quick, bro, because I'm not going to lie. They're, they're a pretty solid team, and I'm kind of scared to play against them. If you look at our team, bro, we got Eli Mack, 83 overall, bro. Chris Carson, 86 overall, man. Wide receiver, DK Metcalf, 94. Ty Lockett, 91. T.Y. Hill, and thank you, thank you, 82. Eskridge is only a 75. Wow, but he's actually very good. Freaking Bo Melton at the 73. So our team isn't the best, but we're pretty solid. But if we go take a look at them Packers, bro. At quarterback, you see who they got the freaking goat the legend bro in the 99 club one of the only 99 overall players in madden 23 aaron freaking Rodgers, bro you know what i'm saying this is gonna be a tough game bro he is a goat he is literally one of the best quarterbacks of all time and you guys know he does not have a ring under his belt yet and he is trying to get his first freaking ring that's exactly what he wants to do at running back they got that boy aaron jones 94 overall holy crap bro you know what I'm saying? Wide receiver Sammy Watkins. You say Randall Cobb. They don't got the best receivers anymore, but you know what I'm saying? They got Aaron Rodgers, and that's pretty much all that matters, man. It's going to be a very, very tough game. Let's take a look at their defense really quick, though. That's what we got to worry about. Right end, they got freaking Devontae Wyatt, Dean Laurie, you know what I'm saying? Freaking 93 overall Kenny Clark. Oh my God. Freaking 93 overall Rashawn Gary, bro. 89 Devondre Campbell, man. 85 Preston Smith, dude. 98 Jerry Alexander. Freaking Eric Stokes. Oh, man, bro. Freaking Adrian Amos. 90. Yeah. It's going to be a tough game, but their defense is very good, and their offense is obviously very good, bro. Listen, I am a very young quarterback, bro but not a lot of experience. Aaron Rodgers has been to the playoffs multiple times in his career. He knows how to play these types of games. He has done this a lot. He's never been to Super Bowl, but he knows what how to be here, bro. He knows what to do. Not been to, but he never won one. I think he's been, but I don't think he's ever won. But yeah, man, we got a freaking huge game ahead of us, bro. It's gonna be a really tough one. I'm not gonna lie, bro. We just looked at their team. They're obviously a great team. Gonna be a very, very tough freaking year for us, bro. And we're playing a conference championship. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything and see what, oh my God, they're at 86 overall, bro. Like I said, Jerry Alexander, Aaron Rodgers, David Bacotti, bro. We got Eli Mack, Dickie Mackup, Jamal Adams, bro. We're only at 80, they're at 86. You guys know I play on all matter. I'm gonna show you guys the difference when we get in there because some of you guys be thinking I need capping. I don't know why you think I would cap about my difficulty. Like, oh, why would I play on Ricky? That's so boring, bro. You guys wouldn't even watch. The games would be so blowouts, bro. E live Mack and Aaron Rodgers. Look at man, Aaron Rodgers got his eyes on the prize. He wants it very bad. And when I say it, I'm talking about a ring. Aaron Rodgers has been fighting for a ring for his entire career, dude. Literally his entire career. And he wants to get one, man. And it's tough, man. You know, I kind of feel bad for him at the fact that he never got a ring yet. But at the same time, I can't feel bad because now I'm in the NFL. See, when I was on a bench watching, I felt bad. But now that I'm in the NFL playing against him and it's only me who gets to stop him and I'm the only thing standing in his way, I'm going to stop him. I'm going to make sure today that I stop him and don't allow him to do that, at least against me, bro. Because Eli Mack is here and I'm here to stay. I'm here to get not one ring, not two, not three, not four, not five, six, nor seven. I want eight. Matter of fact, I want ten rings. That's what I want. I want to make history, bro. This is only my first season with this. So Madden 23 just came out. We got a long way ahead of us, bro. Basically an entire year to try to get 10 rings, man. You know what I'm saying? We got this thing, bro. You see Aaron Rodgers talking to his teammates. He's telling them, listen, guys, I've been here before. You know what I'm saying? Get rid of those nerves. It's going to be okay. Just a normal game. Treat it like a normal game. I'm pretty sure that's the type of things that he's telling them. And the things that I'm telling my team is I'm telling them, listen, bro. Listen, just trust me. Believe in me. I know I've never been here before, but you guys have to believe in me. You see how far I brought us. We just won our last game. You see I clutched up, bro. I'm Eli Mack. That's what I'm telling my team right now. I'm Eli Mack, and I'm going to lead this team to victory. Let's get this thing going. Let's come on and get this game, bro. Big old game ahead of us, man. You know what I'm saying? We got the legendary Mac Daddy Turtle in the building, too, of course. You know what I'm saying? He's always here for the playoff games. You know how we coming. In real life, my heart's actually beating kind of kind of fast just because I really don't want to lose this game, bro. Let's get this thing rocking. You know what I'm saying? We're playing at home, which is always good. Playing at home. Get a little bit of home field advantage. Let's freaking go, my boy. Good catch. I'm with the game. Metcalf. Let's go. 
by the way, I'm gonna show you guys my difficulty really quick just to get this out the way because you guys honestly annoy the heck out of me with that stupid ear and look all mad. I literally can't change it, bro. <laughs> I literally just realized I can't change it. So why do you guys even say that? Actually, bro, I'm never showing y'all again. You've seen I can't change it. There's no point in me showing you guys every episode, bro. Just shut the heck up and just watch me play, bro. That was a good freaking pass by Eli Mack on that first play, bro. Let's get my hair good to stone rocking, bro. Let's go crazy. Big first down to 10. Let's go, man. Get somebody go. DK Metcalf. DK, DK. DK, oh, I thought he caught that, but they broke it up. Hand him up to my boy, Chris Carson, see what you can do. Let's go, baby. Let's go, big Chris, that's all you. Let's go, Chris Carson. Let's go, Chris Carson, yes. Oh, damn, bro, they shut him down right there. Big third down and 10, baby. Let's get this thing going, get this thing rocking. Come on, somebody get open. Yup, why by himself, too easy. Let's freaking go, T.Y., thank you, T.Y., thank you, T.Y. Let's go, man, let's continue to march down this field, bro. Remember, they got Aaron Rodgers, bro, so we have to score, because they know how to put up points, bro. That offense is explosive, bro. Oh, man, I got hit while I was throwing it, bro, so I couldn't get the pass off how I wanted to. Respect. Good defense, guys. I, I, I give it to you. Respect, respect. Sometimes you got to show respect to your enemies, you know what I'm saying? Let them know you respect them, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, so you, you, you got to respect the game, bro. You, you cannot be a, a hater, you know what I mean? Oh, my f I'm not doing it again. That's my last pick on the season. That's the, that's my last pick for the rest of my career, bro. I'm telling you, bro. No more picks, bro. All right, guys, time for me to lock in, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be talking and stuff, of course, you know, entertain you guys, give you guys you know, content, but. I need to lock in for us, bro. I need to come the f Hurry up off the tire of Because I seen somebody get over. Let's switch up the side. Let's go DK. I'm looking for DK, guys. I'm really looking for DK. I'm really going to put Y on the block, Chris Carson on the block that way. I don't get sacked. I shouldn't get sacked because I have an extra blocker. And, bro, I got hit while I was throwing it. Bro, I put an extra blocker and I still got. Guys, how do you do that thing where you make the blocks? Pass protection. Oh, pass protection. Here it is. Do max protect, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing this every time, bro. Max protection, bro, because, you know what I'm saying? That's tough, bro. I'm tired of getting sacked. Okay, max protection kind of works. Of course. All right, just punt the ball away. That was a horrible drive, you know what I mean? It's okay, bro. Oh, my God, bro. You've got to be kidding me, man. I mean, you've got to be kidding me, bro. Oh, my God, bro. I'm ah, I, I, Bro, I told you, bro. They're literally the Packers. They have freaking Aaron Rodgers, bro. It's not going to be a freaking... Walk in the park, dude. Come on, bro. Everything on the line. We're trying to get some Super Bowl, bro. I'm not trying to lose. Bro, if I lose, I'm leaving this town. Not... Bro, bro, block! I swear. Just block for me, bro. Please. Bro, at this point, I don't even know what to say, bro. All right, guys. I don't know, man. This is this is about to be one of the toughest. Just, it's not even my off. Like, even I feel like even if we score, they're going to score again. So it's like... Bro, look, I'm getting sacked every f and I f oh my god. Bro! Can we still make a comeback, guys? Let me know in the comments. I mean, it's only the first half, but let me know in the comments, which I think is impossible to be honest. Bro, block. <laughs> block for me, please. Dude, man, that's so annoying, bro. It's so discouraging. Let's go. Go, go, let's go. It's so discouraging to get sacked, bro, because it's not my fault. It's literally my offensive line. And you guys in the comments were telling me that the freaking the Seahawks, like in real life, have one of the worst offensive lines right now. So I understand it, but bro, it's actually very annoying. Like I can't even do anything, bro. We lost, man. We definitely lost this game. I know what people are gonna say. They're gonna call me a bust, bro, because I play so good against every team, but when it comes to actual competition, when I play against one of the best quarterbacks in the league, this is how I perform, bro. When I'm matching up against one of the best quarterbacks in the league and one of the best defenses in the NFL, this is how I perform, bro. You know what I'm saying? And like, I feel like people are just gonna call me a bust now, man. And the sad thing is I already resigned with this team, so I think I'm stuck. Oh, man, what a game. What a game. 38 to zip, man. This is pathetic. It's the first half, too. It's the first half, too. Wow, it's literally the first half. <laughs> oh, man. What a game. It's the first half. <laughs> you guys don't give me advice in the comments. I've yet to see one comment say, Eli, this is how you avoid sex. And you guys know I need that. I, that's the advice I need is how to avoid. I don't need anything else, bro. Like, I know, bro. You guys can tell me you love me. You watch my videos. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Like, thank you, bro. But you guys can say that on other videos, bro. But we're facing a franchise, man. Like, I just genuinely need support. I need help. You know, I still don't even know how to change my camera angle yet, which is sad. You know, I get hundreds of freaking comments every freaking video. Nobody tells me how to change my camera angle to where I want it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to, bro. Like, I'm not even blaming you guys. This is my fault, but you know, I'm just kind of frustrated. You, you know, the thing is, brothers fight, you know what I'm saying? You guys are basically like my little brothers, you know what I mean? All you guys watching this video, and like, I just feel like as little brothers and as family members, as FOE, you know, like, I feel like family over everything. And I feel like you guys should be giving me advice on what I should be exactly doing. And quite frankly, I'm not, I'm not getting that advice from you guys, man. Like, you know, like you guys just call me trash or 
stuff like that but like bro if i'm trash then help me get better man you know what i'm saying help me get better don't, like don't just criticize me with no hits bro i can't even get in the end zone bro like it's just it's just sad bro it's just sad man it's just very sad at this point Look, we got a touchdown. Finally. Jesus Christ. Dude, it's just sad. Like, no advice. Like, no one's telling me to my camera. Goes, Nobody's telling me to avoid sacks. Like, I know. Like, I, like, I think I'm doing everything. I'm literally doing max protect. I'm putting people on blocks. And I just, I don't know. Maybe my team is just that track. I think we have the worst offensive line in the NFL, bro. First off, if you watch this video right now, spam hashtag I'm watching. And then, bro, you're a GOAT. Like, I swear to God, if you're still watching, you're a GOAT. Because, like, you know, if it was me, I would have clicked off. Because it's literally boring. Because I'm getting blown out. But if you're still watching, I love you so much. And, and bottom of my heart thank you you know what i mean so if you're still watching put hashtag i'm still here or i'm still watching and um you know what i'm saying i'm gonna see it and that's just gonna make me love you a lot more because that's gonna show me that you're like you're really here for me you're not just here for you know what i'm saying the content so i really do appreciate it but um how do i avoid sex right can you guys genuinely go in the comments and try to give me some advice like cook up a good comment like think about it before you comment it make sure it makes sense how can I avoid sex? Because it's getting very annoying to the point where as soon as I say hike, I have about 30 seconds to try to get the pass off before I'm getting swarmed by a freaking three, 400 pound lineman, bro. How can I do that? Secondly, genuinely, bro, I'm gonna be checking all the comments, by the way, guys. So please comment. Who can tell me how to change my angle, bro? Yeah, the, the camera angle, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. <laughs> fumble. What a game, man. What a way to just end it, huh? I don't ever wanna feel like this again. You guys probably wonder, Eli, why aren't you raging? Like, the thing is, bro, I came to terms with the loss, like, in the second quarter. Like, by the second quarter, we knew we were gonna lose, so I don't have it in me to be angry anymore. It's like, I knew we were gonna lose. It's not like we lost last second or something. So it's like, I already seen this coming. You see us walking to that locker room and our season, look at, for you, look at Eli Mack, bro. Look at him. Our season's over, man. Wow, just like that, bro. 52 to freaking seven. Look at that. That's crazy. All right, man, you guys see, bro. My team, man, they're, they're, they're mad at me, bro, shaking their head at me. Look at that, man. I, I just don't like how when I win, they're all on my nuts, and as soon as I lose, they want to be all fake, bro. Like, last week, you guys were just all happy dancing with me. Now, all of a sudden, nobody even wants to talk to me, bro. That's literally crazy, bro. Wow, just like that, huh? So if you look at the playoff bracket, bro, um, oh my God, it's going to be the Chargers versus the Packers. Wow, what a game. What a game. But if you look, bro, we got invited to the Pro Bowl, guys. So that's really, really good. I'm excited about that, but still, man, it's tough that we came off of that. It's just kind of hard to be excited, but it is what it is, man. All right, man. Uh, as far as what I'm going to do with this team, I don't really know yet. Go in the comments. I'm going to try to demand the trade or the release. I don't even know if that's possible, honestly, but yeah, we're just going to continue on, move forward, and um, try to come back next season even harder. Next episode is going to be the Pro Bowl episode, and then, um, yeah, man, I, I guess we're starting over, man. It's pretty tough, man. See you guys in the next one. It's your boy Eli Mack. Get, get.